All right, guys. So check it out. We got the Hurricane Molt System for the Skag. You know, says it. They're different models, but they make them for all those decks and uh, a different mold kit, I guess, for some of the other decks. So it's pretty heavy. Um, oh yeah, let me go real quick. So the price is supposed to be like 350 bucks or something. Um, but I had a ton of Ace Rewards points since I bought this Skag mower from an Ace Hardware and they have like the rewards points that you can do. Um, so I had a ton of points, so that brung this down $85 less. So, you know, it was two something. So what I'll do is I'll uh, time lapse open it all up. We'll open up everything and we'll get the tools ready that we need. And then I'll show you what it comes with. And then we'll time lapse putting it on the mower and then the finished product. All right, sweet. Alright guys, so this is really cool. So this hurricane mulch kit is different than just a standard mulch kit because it like has these extra baffles and you, you take off two of the bolts out of the spindles and you install these. I've never have had other mulch kits from other brands, but it's never included these, so that's really cool. So I'm gonna have to read about that and I'll explain that to you guys once I get installed. You remove two of the of the spindle bolts and you're gonna do that. But, and then it comes, comes with your, I'll help you in a minute, buddy. River Dog Monster Truck's running out of gas. So this is, sorry, just Monster Truck. So I guess this might be your uh, cutoff. And then this is also another piece that's going to go up inside the deck. So really cool. Here's all your hardware. And I don't know why this is in there. It must it looks like it's a handle, but it's short. So I'll have to give this back to my dealer because somebody else must have ordered this for their mower and, you know, they didn't know it was in that box or something. I don't know. I don't know. But it did say additional parts inside on the tape, but the dealer just handed me that box. They said, yeah, this is yours. All this is yours. And I'm like, all right. So anyway, I'll have to get back with him on that. But let's work on getting this thing installed. I'm going to have to read the instructions a little better and... Yeah, we'll go from there. See, there you go. It does say the dealer just didn't pay attention. So anyway, I'll get that back to him. You need to remove your covers from your spindles because you're gonna need to get to those bolts and you're gonna you need to get to these bolts under here for two on the spindles and you're gonna need to clean out around there. I'm actually probably gonna leave these covers off because because with it being a 36, this spindle, you can see. It's so tucked up under there, like your foot would never get into that, especially as a professional. So, anyway. All right. All right, as you can see, there's so many things in the way. It's really tight up in here. And so it kind of holds the wrench for you um, when you're taking, them, taking two of them, two of the bolts off. You take two of them off and you leave two of them on. You can see. Um, but... See, here's an old bolt, and here's a new bolt. Here they are, the exact same bolt, same length, everything. And this bolt, this mower only has 20 hours on it, so I don't see why you couldn't put the old ones back in there. So, just a note. All right, boys, one, or girls, one side is installed, as you can see. Um, it's a pain in the butt, just because you don't have any room between this spindle. You know, and you're trying to feed the bolt up through and trying to get the washer on and then it slides down. You gotta hold the bolt with like needle nose pliers, hold it over the hole and then try to fish it under here. It's really great if you have two people because so you can't really see what you're doing under here and up here at the same time. So I'm doing it, you just gotta take your time and kinda feel it out. But so, one side's installed. Gotta do same thing on the other side. It's kinda a pain in the butt. Looks like it may even be more of a pain over there, but Hopefully it works out. Yeah, go ahead and remove your discharge chute and always put the bolts back in there. That way if I ever want to put it back on, if I ever want to take the mulch kit off, I have the bolts ready. Same with this, I'd put these little bolts back in here 
That way when I, if I want to put the covers back on, you can just put them out and the bolts are not lost. All right. All right, so I got both sides done on that. Both my Ninja Stars are in place. I guess that's the hurricane part. Pretty sweet actually. And then this is gonna go just like that. Pardon my son River, but it's gonna go just like that inside the front of the deck. It's gonna have a one inch bolt here one and a quarter inch bolt on this one see here's the one inch and one and a quarter over here and I got it clean as a baby's bottom first actually baby's bottoms are not clean at all I have two of them so anyway so let's put this bolt slide this thing right up in there might have to move my jack to see it's getting in the way but we gotta gonna have to figure something else out for jacking system and put that up in there all right guys i don't know if you can see that but you see it doesn't even go up flush at all like that so something i was thinking about it fits perfect like this i think it goes on the outside which i never would have thought that but i think that is how it goes and then i think that piece sticks on the inside and then they bolt together and uh i kind of wonder i wonder if in between these hurricane things is this just going to fill up with mud and grass up in here um it's kind of what seems like would happen but maybe not maybe there's enough airflow where it kind of keeps it cleaned out i don't know it's like nine something at night uh went in with the kids and we ate dinner and um friday night we watch uh Watch a few lawn care YouTube videos as a family on the big screen. And then now I'm out here trying to finish this back up. So, yeah, I think it goes on the outside because it fits perfect on the outside. Even though, on mine, it just doesn't make sense. But, got all this bottom section cleaned off. And, yeah, I think that's, I think that's right. I'll have to check the instructions. But, let's bolt it up. Oops. Something else I forgot to mention. When you bolt these up in there, make sure... You clean that surface where this is going to be bolted up against. Clean that surface all around the spindle right here. Because you don't want grass to be in there. Then this thing would be crooked or whatever. You want it to be nice and flush up in there. So I scraped it, screwdriver, and brushed it and stuff. Before I put this on here. On this like collar part of the spindle. Because you want to make sure it's nice and flat up on there. I guess that kind of goes without saying. But I just wanted to mention it. Um, you know to brush and scrape underneath there before you bolt that up on there and same with this you know the, any of these baffles wherever this touches like right here and you scrape this crap off before we put this here you know what i mean so anywhere where this touches you know you need to make it nice and clean so all right let me keep moving on it look at these mulching blades they're awesome they're like wavy blades and they have like gator teeth on them so usually the mulching blades they'll have that come with the mulch kits usually it'll be like a wave like that but no gator teeth as well so that's a really good idea i'm gonna document this part number in case i ever want to buy them again four eight four eight three three one seven i don't know if you can see that in the camera four eight three four eight three three one seven four eight three three one seven so this is awesome um you see that looks right now so that must be how it is must go on the front um you know these go over all the tools you need these are 9 16 but most most all the other stuff is half inch you need a 3 8 for these little for your covers um and then obviously you got to take your blades off but look check this thing out it looks awesome it looks so well made well designed um I will say, it does look, I've had a mulch kit on my old little Hustler Raptor years ago, and I've had two Ferris ones, um, and this one seems the most well-engineered, well-designed one of all of them. I think the extra complexity is going to help it eat up better. Now, if you have like a 48 or something, it's going to have another baffle in here. Like right here, because that, that V-Ride 1 I bought, it had a mulch kit on it. But uh, 
You see it's got a pretty good shelf up there, which is going to help keep the leaves in and probably reduce blowout. That shelf up there, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to do this at night with my headlamp, you know what I mean. But there's a shelf up there. And uh, overall, very well designed. Um, I'm just going to stick those mulching blades up on there. And uh, I think we're done. So it's like a skinny shelf over here, and then it gets wider and wider as you go down there. It's probably like a three-inch shelf down there on the end. Um, this will be better if I take it off my head. Still can't really tell, but yeah, very well designed as far as the 36 goes. Just clean these surfaces before you put those on there. That's probably like one of the most important things. And it is a pain in the butt on both sides getting to these little nuts underneath this pulley, but you know, other than that, you know, you, you use your needle nose pliers and you gotta kind of hold the nut and then slowly push the bolt up through there. If you have two people, it'd be really good. But um, I did it by myself. It just takes you a little more time. But man, I'm loving it. And uh, y'all know I'll be updating you on how it goes. But I'm going to take my impact wrench, stick these blades back on. I'm going to go get get some sleep. I think we're done. Ready to munch up some leaves. I guess I can't test it tonight. My neighbors and stuff. It's already almost 10 o'clock. see what time it is. It's uh, 9... 49 so no mowing tonight to test it out but y'all know i'll be updating you guys all right thank you for watching my channel y'all are awesome see ya